Slips, trips, and falls are a major category of workplace accidents and result in a significant number of injuries. The three most important factors contributing to the occurrence of slips, trips, and falls are poor design of the workplace, poor workplace practices and procedures, and inappropriate behavior. More specific causes include obstructions on the floor, wet, slippery, or uneven floors and walkways, lack of signposting and barricading, inadequate lighting, misuse of equipment and furniture, inappropriate footwear, and failure to follow correct manual handling procedures. By following some basic safety principles, the accidents and injuries that result from slips, trips, and falls can be dramatically reduced. Good housekeeping practices are essential for the prevention of slips, trips, and falls and underpin many of the control measures that should be implemented to reduce these kinds of accidents. All work areas should be neat and tidy and adequately illuminated. Trash should be removed regularly. Cables and power cords should be kept out of the way and should never be stretched across areas where people walk. Small movable objects should generally be kept off the floor or placed in areas where they will not be in the way, and drawers and cupboard doors should be kept closed. Because normal work practices require you to be able to move freely from one work area to another, it's important to make sure there's nothing in your way. Aisles and walkways should be kept clean and clear of obstructions and should never be used as storage areas. In industrial environments, they should be clearly marked and wide enough to allow the safe passage of equipment, materials, and people. Stairways and landings should be maintained in good order, cleaned regularly, and again, be kept free of all obstructions, including grates and mats that could trip an unsuspecting person. Floors, aisles, and walkways should be maintained in good order. Carpets should be properly secured and not have areas that are badly worn or torn. Rugs and mats should be in good repair and only be used in suitable locations where they are unlikely to be a potential tripping hazard. Hard floors should be kept clean and dry at all times. Oil, grease, powders, water, food scraps, and other general waste can cause slips and should be cleaned up immediately. When cleaning up significant spills or during general cleaning activities when floors may be slippery, safety signs should be used to alert people to the fact that a hazard exists. In many cases, temporary barricading should be used in conjunction with safety signs to restrict access to the area until the area is again safe. Safety signs and temporary barricading should also be used to warn of other temporary operations, such as maintenance.